Hello, this is Brad Court, President of Web to Market. Thanks for watching this video about the Content Slider plugin. The Content Slider is a powerful tool for integrating rich media content into your Able Commerce site. You can integrate videos, basic text, custom HTML, and images into product, category, web pages, and the home page on your Able Commerce site. As you'll see shortly, the Content Slider administration includes many options to control the look and feel of the Content Slider on the front end. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the Content Slider can be used in practice. If we go to the uh, web to market site and to the Content Slider plugin page itself, we can scroll down and see a description using HTML. And this uh, description is actually in the Content Slider. You'll notice that on the left and on the right there are arrows that will let us uh, move to the left and right uh, to additional slides and if we go look down at the bottom there are tabs number one two three and four that will let us pick a page or a slide and a start button uh, let's go ahead and look through go ahead and look the examples of how the content can be used as I mentioned the first one is HTML we click to the second one. It's a simple text example. Going to the third one, we can say we've got see we've got a video here from YouTube. If we go to the fourth one, we can see a simple graphic, and that the, by clicking on the graphic, we can actually pop off to pop off to a uh, either another site or we could go to a page within the Web to Market site if set that up. Let's go ahead and go into the admin and see what the configuration options are. Moving into the admin for our site, we'll go ahead and choose W2M plugins as a menu option. You see the content slider is there, and we've uh, got an instance of the content slider set up. It's named 137 because it's product 137, and it also uh, provides us with the code snippet that we insert into the page. On the right hand side you'll see we can add a new instance of the content slider for the home page, for a web page, for a product page, or a category page. Let's go ahead and edit the content slider that we just looked at. Scroll down, we'll see what the options are on there. First I'll point you to the bottom and there are the four slides that we set up. We walked through a moment ago. Uh, a slide with an HTML in it, a slide with basic text, a video slide where from uh, we could add a video from YouTube and an image side and looking at the left we can see we can easily reorder them by clicking on the up and down arrows on the right side you can see you can edit the content of the slide or you can delete it let's go ahead and edit the HTML slide so you can see what that looks like As you can see, we've chosen the display HT, custom HTML option, and in the box, which we can expand out here if we want, we can see the HTML, in this case a paragraph tag and a list, and uh, some more simple HTML. All right, let's go ahead and cancel out of here, return back to our admin page, look at the top. As you'll see on the top, there are about a dozen options that let us control how the this particular instance of the slide looks on the product detail page. We see we can uh, allow it to resize the contents, that is, adjust the size of the slide based on what's in the slide. In our page, we keep it constant. We want it to look uh, have the same width and height each time, so we don't let the image slider resize that. Uh, second, we can uh, build arrows that adds a left and a right arrow to the uh, slides, lets the, the visitor choose to go to the next slide or the previous slide. The third option is build navigation. Those are those numbered tabs at the bottom of the slides. The build start stop that is uh, enables or, or hides the start button. The pause on hover allows the customer to stop the uh, automation of the slides to keep them from automatically moving forward just by moving their mouse over the slide. Uh, sixth option, resume on video end, 
just have the slides automatically start moving again when the YouTube video ends if you've got one. Stop at end uh, will stop the rotation of the slides if they're set to keep moving. The delay is how long individual slides to display. Animation time is the time between slides. Easing and mode uh, provide the transitions between slides. Uh, they can be a horizontal uh, roll through or vertical or the third option as we'll see here is to allow them to fade back and forth. And hashtags is uh, generally not recommended. It adds some uh, uh, code to the URL that uh, may be useful for additionally coded functionality but generally not use. And, and finally we've got the autoplay option which starts playing at the animation automatically when you get into the page. And I can enable that because we want folks to see the, uh, the description of the product. Thanks for watching this introduction to the Content Slider plugin. If you have additional questions or would like to purchase the plugin or uh, would like it customized in some way, we'd love to hear from you. Just drop us an email or give us a call. Thanks.